Howdy you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. And today's video is going to be all Marvel related news. Now as I promised earlier in the week, we've got some new Marvel Legend reveals that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And then I also have a few other bits of Marvel news I want to go and pass on to you guys. Um, there were some other non-Marvel stuff that I'll probably talk about next week, like the new Hot Toys, uh, Wonder Woman 84 Golden Armor figure that, that, that we got information on today. But again, I, I, I'm going to keep this one, uh, just all Marvel related. So let's start off. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to let you guys know that Diamond Select Toys has announced that they're reissuing a couple of their Marvel Select figures. So both of these figures were previously released as Disney Store exclusives. And they're doing the, the more recent uh, Hulkbuster figure, comic book based Hulkbuster figure that they did. And then the other figure they're re-releasing is the, the Mighty Thor figure with the, the spinning hammer gimmick, which is a pretty cool gimmick. Um, both of these, again, were released as Disney Store exclusives originally, and now they're going to be shipping to comic and specialty shops. They are up for pre-order now at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. And if you missed out on them on the first time around, you'll, you have another shot at them. Also, this morning, we got some new teaser images for two more upcoming Marvel-based Mafex figures. So the first one, the Avengers Endgame Captain America figure, we had previously seen at some of the overseas conventions, you know, late last year, early this year, and now we're getting these new official images. I believe both of these figures will be, uh, they'll be solicited uh, within the next day or so, and I believe are going to probably be released in January of next year, but I don't know that 100%. The, those details have not yet been released. I'm just kind of guessing based on on their track record. Uh, the Magneto figure was the last one they announced last month and that one's coming out in December. So um, again, when those official details are released, I'll be sure to update you guys, which may be later today um, or, or early next week, I'm guessing. But with these new images, we see the Captain America figure still looking pretty good. Um, he also, like the Marvel Select Thor, comes with that spinning Thor hammer gimmick, which is cool. This version, again, based on the Avengers Endgame movie, comes with two versions of the shield. You get the regular version, and then you get the broken version, which is nice. You get Thor's hammer, you get a regular hammer, and then you get the spinning hammer. You also get a lightning effect that you can put on the hammer if you want to. He's got three different head sculpts. He's got two masked head sculpts and an unmasked head sculpt, which look okay. It's kind of hard to tell with these images. Uh, the unmasked head sculpt, it looks kind of like Chris Evans, but again, I'll wait until I see better images for that. But like I said, definitely, you know, if you're into the Mafex stuff, uh, they're doing a number, you know, at the conventions we saw, if I remember correctly, we also saw they're doing a uh, end game, uh, Iron Man figure and Spider Iron Spider-Man figure, if I remember off the top of my head. So you know, they're doing a number of, of figures from the end game. Now, the other uh, figure that we're getting uh, our look at today, and I think this is the first time we're seeing this one, is Gambit. This is a comic book based X-Men Gambit figure, so continuing their X-Men line. So this one comes with two different head sculpts. You get his jacket, which is a soft goods jacket. And based on this image, it looks like there might be some wire in there so that you can pose it, which is kind of cool. I, I don't know that 100%, but you know you can see the jacket's kind of posed up so it's flowing. It could be just photography, but but I'm thinking there might be some wires in there. So uh, we'll have to wait and see more details on that. He's got his bow staff. He's got a, a kinetic energy effect that you can put on the bow staff. He's got uh, the throwing card effects, and then he's also got the holding card effects, which is nice. And you know if you're a Gambit fan, this is probably going to be one that you want to check out. Um, I, I've been debating whether I want to get the recent Mafex Cyclops figure, Jim Lee Cyclops figure. It looks pretty good, um, but I, I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't actually gotten it yet. So I'm still kind of debating. But again, if you're a Gambit fan, uh, this is looking pretty good. And we should have more details and images again in the next uh, few days. Okay, and then finally, we've got news on the Marvel Legend front. So as I told you before, Hasbro was doing uh, this fan channel event where they were going to be announcing stuff for Marvel Legends today on their Hasbro Pulse website. Now, as it, as it is, these actually leaked out through a distributor early this morning. 
So somebody jumped the gun and, and put all these images out early. Uh, it's a Spanish distributor called SD Distributors. And so, uh, you know, we didn't have to wait until this afternoon to actually see these. So I don't know exactly when I'm going to get this video up. It may be after the Hasbro video goes up on their Pulse site. But as it is right now, uh, the reveals, and some of these I knew about, um, a couple I uh, didn't know, but uh, the ones I knew about, I knew they were going to reveal the Spider-Man Retro uh, Wave, which I knew the figures that were in it, uh, Green Goblin, Electro, and Daredevil, but I didn't know exactly what the figures were going to be. And specifically, I'm very happy to see that Daredevil. I was hoping they were going to do the armored version from the 90s. I love that outfit. I know a lot of fans back when they had him wearing that outfit didn't actually like it. I, I never really understood why. I thought it was awesome. I love red and black is in part why I like it so much. But but uh, I'm so glad that's the version they went. I was really kind of afraid they were just going to give us like a repaint of the same Daredevil figure that we'd been give, getting. And so again, you know, maybe throwing in the unmasked head sculpt. This does have an unmasked head sculpt like we saw. I, I think this is the same one that came with the Walgreens exclusive uh, yellow Daredevil figure. So, but if you missed out on that, you got another chance at it. Also makes for kind of a good uh, fill-in for Cyclops too with the red glasses. He's got uh, his weapons. He's got uh, two versions of his weapons. Still using that kind of flimsy rubber. Uh, even in these images, you can see one of the batons is, is, is kind of warped. So uh, definitely that soft rubber that they use but still cool, and then also multiple pairs of hands. The Green Goblin, it's kind of what I figured. We're getting essentially a repaint of the Green Goblin figure. It looks like the masthead is a little bit different with the eyes. It's kind of in keeping with uh, the old classic Toy Biz, and I guess also how he would appear in the comics, but I remember one of the Toy Biz Green Goblins having big eyes like that as well. And then, but really what's cool about this, to me at least, is you get the unmasked, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Norman Osborn. There's been some debate going on whether it's Norman or Harry, but to me, it looks older to me they're very similar they look very similar to one another same hairstyles and everything but but this head sculpt looks like it's an old uh, version uh, of an older guy so I'm guessing this is supposed to be Norman and um, you know again that's probably the coolest thing about this figure I probably wouldn't get it other than for the unmasked head sculpt Electro pretty much what I figured uh, they took that previous Electro figure they repainted it so the entire figure is in the classic colors you know the the one they previously did was more of a modern look and then they kind of threw in the the classic head but but the lower body was really not in keeping with that so now we've got the full-on classic outfit they've also given uh extra pair of hands so if you don't want just the lightning attached hands you can also now attach use the closed fisted hands which is nice so um you know again if you're into the sinister six and all that or just like Electro, you're probably gonna to wanna to pick this one up. The other figures we had seen at Toy Fair, the Gwen Stacy, the Spider-Man figure, which is a new sculpt, and the Peter Parker figure. So all those we had seen previously. So we're getting better images of those as well as all the packaged images for this wave. And um, you, as I've mentioned, I've talked about this wave multiple times and you know, you can see it's, it's based, the card backs are based on the old Toy Biz five inch Spider-Man animated series line. And these will be going up for pre-order. They may be up for pre-order as you're watching this, but but should be going up for pre-order at pretty much anywhere that carries Marvel Legends, including like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store, and should be up for pre-order by around 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. And again, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna get this video up, so it may already be available for you to pre-order. Another reveal was a figure uh, that we had seen previously at Toy Fair, the Deluxe Age of Apocalypse figure, uh, the actual Apocalypse from Age of Apocalypse. So if you collected the Age of Apocalypse wave, which is starting to hit shelves now, then you're probably gonna wanna pick up this uh, Apocalypse figure. It's a deluxe figure. It's gonna cost about 30 bucks. It will be going up for pre-order like the Spider-Man figures this afternoon. He's got, you know, he looks pretty nice. He's got all the accessories. Uh, he's got the um, skull that he can hold he's got an extra he's got two head sculpts and then he's got the extra hand so you can have two closed fists uh the skull is a nice little added touch i think so uh, definitely a cool figure and like i said if you if you end up it, i mean if you don't get the age of apocalypse wave i don't know if there's much need to get this figure unless you're just a huge apocalypse fan in general but but definitely if you get that wave i think you're going to want to add this one to uh to that to that assortment 
We also got a new look at the Deluxe War Machine. This is another one that was on display at, at Toy Fair. This will also be going up for pre-order today. And, you know, a comic book-based War Machine is something that's been sorely missing from the modern Marvel Legend line. You know, Toy Biz gave us a really good one back in the day, but, but this is definitely a nice update. You've got the shoulder cannons. You've got all the blast effects. You've got the boot blast-off effects. You've got smoke effects. And you've got a really cool uh, unmasked uh uh james rhodes uh, head sculpt which does not look like david vonner this time but but does look pretty comic book accurate and then we've got for the first time a look at the what is supposed to be a walgreens exclusive uh, moon knight figure i believe it was the youtuber rectangular that first discovered this listing and it's a repaint of the previous Walmart figure that they did all in white. So more of his classic look, which I think looks pretty good. You know, kind of surprised, you know, the black one, the one with the more black in it, I thought was pretty cool, but they actually pulled this uh, more classic all white look off pretty nicely. So um, the figure is, again, is supposed to be a Walgreens exclusive. It comes in a uh, white packaging. So kind of reminiscent of the same kind of packaging we saw with the Venom figures, but now it's got Moon Knight, the Moon Knight logo on. It. You get two head sculpts, so you get the all white mask, and then you get the one with the black mask. I think probably the one with the black mask looks a little better. You get his bow staff, and you get multiple pairs of hands. You get his crescent uh, boomerangs as well. And like I said, this is primarily just a repaint figure, but if you're a fan of Moon Knight and you like his classic look, this is one you're going to want to check out. Now that was it for the stuff that came out this morning. Okay, so there were some additional news bits revealed during Hasbro's live stream if you didn't watch it yourself. So uh, good thing I didn't post this, I, I waited. So, um, but just to go over the new information that they revealed during the panel, they didn't really show anything new that we hadn't seen before. They gave us some updated looks at the old man Hawkeye that's going to have the seamless technology with it that's going to be included in a two pack with the old man Logan. The Logan figure will not have the seamless technology. They showed the modern rogue figure that they showed at Toy Fair. Again, that will have that seamless technology on the joints. And they also revealed uh, an additional head sculpt for the Rogue figure. They really didn't give any kind of release details on Rogue. They also showed off the Nimrod figure again, uh, gave us kind of like a size comparison in the video, uh, but they did not give us any details on its release. They did not confirm the rumors of it being the three pack with the, the Psylocke and the, and the Phantom X. So uh, we're still kind of in the dark of that. They uh, talked about the Spider-Man figures and all that stuff that pretty much uh, nothing new there that I haven't already talked about. Other, uh, one other thing, on the Green Goblin figure, uh, the Goblin Glider has been modified. So if you got the Demo Goblin Build-A-Figure with the stand for the glider with that one, you can actually use that stand now with uh, the Green Goblin as well. The Eternals wave that was uh, up until this point had been a rumor, but now pretty much confirmed. Uh, that was going to coincide with the release you may probably know that the eternals movie was delayed due to covid so has that wave of action figures they are not they are now not going to come out until next year uh the venom uh wave which we knew uh they i don't know if this kind of a slip of the tongue but the venom wave looks like uh that we've known about that's coming at the end of the year it's still coming and it looks like those venomized figures that they showed off at toy fair are going to be uh, in that wave, we kind of, I guess we kind of knew that, I, I don't know, but, but as it is, the Venom wave is still coming at the end of the year, but the Eternals uh, wave is not. They confirmed that they are going to be doing more box sets, like the Alpha Flight box set. They didn't give us any details on what box sets they're going to be doing, but they are doing more box sets. They said they're going to be, they are working on uh, new figures based on the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse animated movie. So we got some really cheesy ones, a uh, two-pack from Hasbro that was really bad, really didn't look like anything from, like Miles Morales from the movie uh, back when that movie came out, but they are doing uh, new figures on that. They didn't give any specific details, but said they were working on figures. More retro uh, Spider-Man figures, single releases, probably as fan channel exclusives. Pretty sure one of those will be Toxin, but um, you know they teased that a little bit. Uh, for San Diego Comic-Con, so they, they said there's going to be two uh, figures released this year that would have been San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Apparently they're going to be X-Men related. They teased 
is that both comic book and movie fans of X-Men will be happy with these. They are going to be releasing them. You know, even though San Diego is not happening this year, they are going to still be releasing those this year, uh, probably online, probably on their Hasbro Pulse website, but they did not give specific details, but they are still coming. So two San Diego Comic-Con exclusives for this year should be X-Men related. I guess one's probably going to be comic book based and one is going to be uh, 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 movie based. Uh, they also said something about a uh, role play item, the biggest one they've ever done, possibly that Deadpool head that you've heard me talk about before. I, I don't entirely know for sure, but they did tease something about they're, they're working on the largest role play item for Marvel Legends that they've ever done. Same thing with the Build-A-Figure. They said in 2021, they're going to be releasing the biggest Build-A-Figure, bigger than Fing Fan Foon, um, any others that they've done uh, in 2021. I don't know if that was in reference to the HasLab Sentinel that we know is in the works that they you know kind of announced at Toy Fair. Dwight, uh, at the end of the video, pulled out a leg that, you know, and sat it on his desk, which is obviously for that Sentinel. But what I don't know for sure is whether, you know, there's some other Build-A-Figure, really big Build-A-Figure that they're doing, or whether he was just taught Winnie T saying that the biggest Build-A-Figure is coming, is that, is that in fact, that Sentinel. Uh, th th does that mean, if it is the Sentinel, does that mean the Sentinel is going to be some kind of Build-A-Figure? Not like, a you know, the, I don't know. So we'll have to see. That's kind of interesting. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, like I said, I talked about everything else that, that they previously mentioned. Oh, so, uh, uh, um, the Walgreens Moon Knight, which again, I don't know when this exactly you're going to be watching this is supposed to go up at 3.30 PM for pre-order on the Walgreens website. There's going to be a special link. I don't know why they're going to release it as we get closer to 3.30. So once they do, I'll put that up on Marvelous News. But the Walgreens Moon Knight, if you want to get that, is going to be available for pre-order. The other pre-orders uh, for the non-exclusive stuff uh, should be up probably as you're watching this now. So if you haven't already, probably head over to like Big Bad Toy Store and, and, and secure yours. So anyway, that, that's it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about today. Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Stay safe out there. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.